Throughout 2023, I'm going to be showcasing new mods released for Forge each month. These aren't version-specific as everyone is pretty split between different versions of Minecraft. As I list each mod, you can see the version they're available for at the time of this video and find their download links in the description below. Each time a video is released, they'll be covering mods from the previous month, so all of these mods were published throughout December. At the time of this video, we're playing on Minecraft 1.19. Obscure tooltips changes the tooltips that appear when hovering over items, with them even having the ability to display the item as a 3D model. This is how it looks with the default settings, but they can be further customized using texture packs. Unusual Gifts adds a new storage container, which comes in six different colors, and they can't be placed down. Unlike a chest, they only provide one storage slot, which is where you can store a gift for another player. You can still place them inside of item frames to display them or sneak and right-click to give them to other players. Roamers will add some NPCs into Minecraft, which have different races depending on their biome. Over time, you can watch them gather materials and slowly start to build their own home. You might also find them hunting and cooking food and eventually having their own children. You can increase your relationship with roamers by doing interactions like giving them food and building materials. Then they might protect you from hostile mobs or even hand you some food if you need it. There are also bandits, which have a chance of spawning near the player and are hostile. These will steal items from your chests, then break them and try to kill you, so keep a lookout for them. Swashbucklers adds four new boats into Minecraft. Currently, they are quite small in size, but the developer does plan to add bigger ones in the future from what I can see in the comments. It adds the cutter, raft, swashbuckler, and upgraded swashbuckler. But either way, they look really cool. When they're damaged, they'll enter a broken state and become a shipwreck, sinking to the bottom of the ocean instead of entering your inventory. The upgraded swashbuckler has a cannon, which can be fired by pressing the H key as long as you have cannonballs. Villager brutes are a replacement for the iron golem, and they can be found naturally spawning in villages and pillager outposts. You'll find that they'll defend villages as an iron golem would, and they can even kill creepers. Towers is an add-on for the Structory mod, but it can be installed as a standalone. Currently, it adds just over 20 different towers into Minecraft, which can be found across the Overworld, End, and Nether. No new items, blocks, or creatures are included with the mod, so it goes great as a complement to the vanilla experience. Some of the structures you can find are temples, outposts, pillars, towers, and even fire watchtowers. When exploring these new locations, you'll often find chests and barrels containing loot and other useful blocks like crafting tables, beds, and furnaces, and it's compatible with the Waystones mod. Another structure mod is Unwrecked Ships. It adds seven variants of ships which can be found on the oceans. Like the name suggests, this mod is supposed to give you an idea of what the shipwreck structures would look like if they were still intact. There's only a few minor differences, mostly when it comes to the sails. And like with shipwrecks, you can find some chests inside containing loot. Marbled's arsenal adds some new equipment to Minecraft, which would go great in a zombie apocalyptic styled world. If you're looking for other mods that fit this theme, then check out my channel as I recently covered a video. But included with this mod is Riot Gear, hazmat suits and weapons such as baseball bats, crowbars, and fire axes. Some new decorative blocks are even included, like medicine cabinets and concrete barriers. This mod is still being updated with new items, too. With new Miss Settlement, you'll find some new structures spawning in your world. These range from small abandoned ruins and statues to larger camps and settlements, which are inhabited by a new creature, the Numus. These can spawn as different variants, with them being hunters, workers, and shamans. These are all hostile to the player and have different methods of combat, with the shaman being able to inflict weakness on the players. One item they drop is Numus Pouches, which there are three of. Opening them will give items like food, coal, Numa's skin, and sometimes even diamonds. From Numa's claws, you can create a pickaxe and cutlass, which have very low durability, but come with the fortune and looting effects. Or the lucky hat, which gives luck. But there's more to this mod, like the new mouse mobs or the vintage universal tool, which can mine any blocks and even in a tunnel. Another new creature that you can find is the wasp, and it's not hostile. They can instead be tamed by feeding them some honeycomb. Then they'll start to follow you on adventures, attack your enemies, and even apply poison to them. But wasps don't have a lot of health either. The Better Weather mod was discontinued after Minecraft 
However, it's now been revived by a new developer for Minecraft 1.19. It includes new weather events like acid rain, blizzards, cloudy skies, and light rain. During acid rain, the grass can be burnt off blocks while players and mobs might also take damage. And during blizzards, the snow will be so thick and heavy that you'll struggle to see. The Capybara mod, which was originally for Fabric, now has a Forge release too. With it, you can find the Capybara spawning in jungles and are quite rare to find. They can be tamed with sugarcane, bred with apples, and even made to sit. Flowery Moo Blooms is an add-on for the Friends and Foes mod. While the original mod adds the Moo Bloom, this addition will include a new Moo Bloom for each type of flowers, such as Allium, Cornflower, Poppy, and more. So in total, expect to find around 16 different variants which can be sheared for their flowers. This mod is going to allow you to combine items in order to upgrade them, with there currently being over 40 different combinations. This can be done in the smithing table, and you can see every available auction by pressing the hammer icon, as long as you have just enough items installed. These provide lots of effects like a diamond helmet having water breathing, or a compass being upgraded with a nether star turning it into a recovery compass, allowing you to quickly teleport to your death point. Applying an Eye of Ender to a totem of undying will prevent you from dying in the void, or pickaxes can be given the Dwarven upgrade, giving a huge breaking speed increase on stone-type blocks. And there are many more interesting upgrades available. Animalistic adds some new creatures into Minecraft, which will need to be manually summoned using a new block called the Generator, and there are six available right now. These are the Blue Bird, Tiger, Duck, Mystic Owl, Alpha Bat, and Red Panda. The modeling, texturing, and animations on these creatures are great, too with them feeling a bit like they're from Disney. Some of them have unique abilities like how the Mystic Owl can jump really high, whereas the Blue Bird can actually be used to fly through your world, making it great to explore with. Ducks have an extra inventory and they'll follow you around, leaving some storage while on the move. It's possible that more animals will come in future updates too. Splunking Bags adds three loot bags into the game, which can all be obtained while mining. These contain relics, with most of them helping while underground. There are 12 relics and includes the Sword of the Depths, which displays your height level on the hotbar, which might help when it comes to finding diamonds. The Climbing Axe will allow you to grapple and climb up walls to aid in traversing the newer cave generation. The Broken Clock is a bit like the Totem of Undying, however when triggers you'll have 15 seconds of almost invincibility before dying, which might be useful for moving items to a safe place quickly. or the Bat Talisman, which can be activated to cause any nearby monsters to glow. And there are quite a few more interesting items. Re-implemented additions adds content into Minecraft that was unused, removed, or just never implemented, like fireflies to mangroves and swamps. Or in the forests, you can find fallen trees. Through the stone cutter, you can change sandstone to be cut, carved, tiled, and fractured or combine different wool to create rainbow wool, which comes in a block form or as carpet. Sculpt Jaws can be found and obtained, which deals damage to players and mobs and emits vibrations. And there are also bundles, illusioner cabins, bad luck potions, and new copper blocks. Higher World Deeper Ocean aims to improve the oceans and stop them from feeling like rivers. What the mod does is move most of the world up by 32 blocks, while the bottom of the ocean will remain at the same height, increasing the distance between the surface and bottom of the ocean. And really, the effects are quite noticeable. Alex Armory adds lots of new weapons into the game, with it aiming to be a vanilla plus styled mod. It includes the likes of a dagger, broadsword, battle staff, hammer, claymore, glaive, sickle, halberd, cutlass, and katana. Weapons have their own unique abilities, like how a lance can deal increased damage on a horse and cause it to charge, increasing its speed. The katana can quickly slice through vines, bamboo, and sugarcane, or allow you to do a double jump. Hammers can excavate in a 3x3 area or deal damage in a radius around the player, whereas the rapier will let you dodge attacks when right-clicking. And you'll find many more interesting abilities with the other weapons. The final mod I'm going to mention is a light one, and it's Food Effect Tooltips. When hovering over foods, you'll be able to see the exact effects they grant, if any, and it also works as a client side mod. That's the end of this video. I'll be back very soon with more content.
So if you want to stay notified when they get published, consider subscribing to my channel. And there's some content on the screen right now that you might like.